Hello, I'm Victor Strandberg, and I'm here to teach a course in the poetry of T.S. Eliot. I'd like to say a few words about myself and my credentials before we, we proceed. Very briefly, I grew up in central Massachusetts. I attended a local working man's college, as it was at that time, Clark University in Worcester, Massachusetts where I got my A.B. in 1957. I went to Brown University and earned my Ph.D. in English and American Literature in 1962. Then I taught at the University of Vermont for four years. And since then, that is since 1966, I've been a member of the English Department at Duke University, uh, teaching mostly American literature. Over this half century of teaching, I have taught T.S. Eliot to thousands of students, uh, almost every year, certainly uh, every year and a half at the least. I would be teaching a class in T.S. Eliot. In some instances, I've had seminars exclusively about Eliot, though usually uh, he would appear in survey courses of modern American literature. In any case, after this half century, I feel confident that any student who stays with the course will understand T.S. Eliot. That is a promise I make with considerable confidence based on the experience of this half century. I plan in this course to take up major poems by T.S. Eliot. We'll begin with the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, his most uh, important early poem, certainly, and a poem important in the whole of English poetry for breaking new ground that other modern poets would follow. Uh, we move on to some of the more minor poems of T.S. Eliot, including Portrait of a Lady, Sweeney Among the Nightingales, Preludes, and Gerontion. And then we'll move on to The Wasteland, The Hollow Men, uh, some parts of Ash Wednesday, and perhaps a little beyond that in this course. My purpose is to facilitate a better understanding of T.S. Eliot. And toward that end, I renounce professional jargon. I hate the stuff anyway. So we'll try to explain Eliot in terms of common language that everyone can understand. In addition, I'm going to include uh, as part of the course some pages of material pertaining to Eliot. There will be a timeline biography of Eliot to go along with the biography I'm going to describe briefly in the next file of this course. Uh, there will be some photographs from Eliot's life. There will be some pictures of uh, T.S. Eliot's um, most uh, favorite a pack of cards in the tarot deck, which he uses in the wasteland. Uh, there will be some segments of materials that he used in his uh, in constructing his poetry. That is, uh, we'll have a look at the Buddha's fire sermon, uh, certain passages from the Bible, and a few other philosophical formulations. So very shortly, we'll get started but I want to end this introduction now.